How's it going, everyone? This is Tom. Welcome back to another episode of iOS 6 Cydia Picks. This is episode 9. Let's jump straight in. I've got three awesome tweaks to show you today. So let's get started. The first tweak we're going to be taking a look at is called FX OS Lock. And uh, as you can see, it's very simple. It purely replaces your slide to unlock bar at the bottom with this little nub. And you can slide that over to the right to unlock your phone. Uh, or iPod Touch, of course, this works uh, with multi-platform. And uh, you so you slide to the right for unlocking and slide to the left for camera. And uh, it's just a very simple, very well done and very elegant tweak. Let's head on to the next one. The next tweet we're taking a look at is called Alt Keyboard. Now, this is very interesting and incredibly useful. It puts the symbol, the corresponding symbol, uh, on the keyboard. So, for example, on QWERTY, uh, on the top bar of the QWERTY keyboard, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, and 0. And you can just swipe up on the key, and it uh, goes into the uh, corresponding symbol. So it's incredibly useful. It takes a little bit of a while to get used to it. But once you have, it definitely speeds up your typing. I haven't found myself having any issues with it. It really is just uh, a great addition to iOS as standard. This is done by the creator of Orxo. So if you're a fan of that, you may like this tweak. Finally, the last tweet we're going to be taking a look at is Dismiss Keyboard. Now, this is very, very simple, but it is so useful. And uh, amazingly, the iPhone doesn't have a function to minimize the keyboard. So say you're wanting to minimize your keyboard for whatever reason, maybe on a web page and you don't want to enter a form, uh, you can just slide from the space to the return, and that dismisses the keyboard. You might be thinking, oh, what a stupid tweak, but it's insanely useful for certain situations. You're not going to be using it all the time. However, in certain situations, this one really is useful and it's free, so if you don't like it, you can delete it. There we have it, guys. That's this episode of iOS 6 Cydia Picks. If you enjoyed, definitely give it a like. This is a little bit of a shorter video just because I'm the fact that I'm quite busy at the moment. However, I hope you did enjoy and that you found it useful, and I will catch you in the next one.